past year at all from the injury to the call up to what you were able to do? Yeah, yeah, I mean, it really worked out well. Uh, you know, I think I was put there for a reason and I went through what I went through for a reason. And, um, to be able to have the season I did and to be able to see the team progress and uh, the coaches and everyone come together, it was, uh, it was a special, special year. After you what really accomplished last season, how do you, you know, prepare for year two? What's kind of on the, I don't know if you have like a goal list for going into a year, but like what, what would be on that list if you had yeah, kind of I mean, my, my goal is always to be the best version of myself, best baseball player, best human, and um, because of that, there's there's always going to be room to improve. Uh, that's the thing about baseball and life is uh, you're always going to have things to improve on, and so take the off season, uh, work as hard as you can, and then uh, we'll see how this year goes. What is the best version of Matthew Rushman? Well, I mean, I, that's something I'm always chasing for. Uh, you know, I think you have your set of goals and ideals that you set for yourself and standards, and um, you're always going to fall short of that, but I think the more you can strive to kind of fit that ideal image, um, you know, the better that you're going to be for it. Were there some things you learned in the major leagues last year that you can only learn by playing in the major leagues? Yes, I, I think at every single level, um, whether it's high school, college, pro ball, big leagues, um, there's always going to be steps that you take and things that are very uncertain going in. And uh, once you've done it for a year, two years, however long, um, you're going to become more you know, comfortable and, and just know the routine. And so I, I think coming into this year, I know the routine a little bit more. And so I'm definitely excited to get going. Excitement from the fans seems to be higher than at any point since you were drafted. Is that something that you and some of the other guys can feel? Absolutely. Uh, it's just a buzz, you know, an, an energy that you feel. Uh, coming to events like this, you just see that people are excited. And, um, you know, when you feel that kind of encouragement and support, uh, it only helps everyone come together and uh, continue to try and do great things. You, you're a guy who doesn't like a lot of attention. You like to, you know, you like to credit your teammates and stuff. But having, you know, having Henderson and maybe having Grayson Rodriguez and D.L. Hall around from the start, is it going to be sort of fun to have, sort of be able to deflect that attention on, on, on other people? Yeah, well, I think that's the, the thing about this group we have right now is we have a bunch of guys who are extremely selfless, uh, who are committed to making the team more important than themselves. And I think because of that, that's why we all get along so well together. That's why we have so much fun because, um, you know, regardless of a good or bad day, uh, everyone's got each other's back. And, you know, when it comes to a team activity, that's the most important thing. When you, you, to, when you had a chance to kind of reflect on, on last season, what were the things that you wanted to improve on and kind of tweak it? What really kind of go into the batting cage maybe you felt like you could fix up? Or was, was there any tweaks that you kind of made in that department? I mean, without getting into, like, to like nitty gritty specifics uh, because you know just at the level we're at um, you know things become so refined um, so like the simplest thing is you know from moving your hands an inch back to uh, dropping in you know like a, a little bit more it, it just becomes so refined but um, our, I'll just say that our hitting coaches do a great job with us and they give us very good specific things to work on during the offseason so uh, it's been nice having their help Obviously, you know, throughout your career, getting back to college, you faced individually a lot of expectations, and now this team is facing some expectations. How, how do you feel like, how quick do you feel like this group is to handle the more eyes that will be on it this season? I think it's, I think it's more exciting than anything. Um, I think if you kind of, you take the expectations and you kind of reverse it to just thinking that the perspective we have is on what we can do together and just trying to elevate each other, I think it takes those expectations and really, um, you know, makes it more exciting than anything. So I, I think that's the approach that we have, and, um, you know, we're really just focused on ourselves, and, um, and when you feel the fan support, it just adds on to that. So I'm excited. Does this offseason feel different to you? I mean, like, the past offseasons you have been, like, chasing to get to the big leagues and improve it. Yeah. Is it, is it different? It, de it definitely is different knowing what you're going into. Um, kind of having the experience of last year, knowing what to expect this year is definitely a different feeling uh, than the last couple of years because you're always uh, chasing the unknown of what the big leagues is going to hold. And so hopefully this year going in, knowing a little bit more, we can just kind of build off of last year. Catcher is a, a position that naturally lends itself to some leadership. Now that you're a little more established in the major leagues, is that something you would look to do the next year or two, take a little more of a front role there? Um, I mean, leadership for me is, is one of those things that has to come authentically, and I'm just going to try to be myself and um, help guys in the best way that I can. And 
Um, I think, however, that shows itself is, is what it's going to be. I don't think anything is going to be forced. And um, you know, that's the nice part about being a catcher is I'm able to help out a lot of uh, different aspects. I'm able to help out the pitching staff and encourage the guys uh, who are hitting. So we're just going to try and do that. You got much of a chance to talk to James McCann? Yeah. Uh, a little bit. He reached out to me, and um, we're excited to get going for spring training. How excited do you work uh, to work with Grayson again, and how much of a boost can he bring to this pitching staff when he does get to the majors this year? I mean, Grayson's a tremendous talent, and I'm excited to work with him again. Uh, I haven't caught him in a while, and so it, it'll be fun to reunite with him. And um, I'm excited to see what he can do because, like I said, he's a very talented, talented pitcher. What did you think of the What did you think of the additions of Kyle Gibson and Cole Irving to the rotation, and what, if anything, do you know about those two guys? Not a whole lot. Um, I mean, only from what you hear from other guys, and uh, I've heard nothing but great things about them. And um, so I'm—I mean, I'm excited to see him. Excited to catch him, and uh, just continue to move forward. How are you feeling handling just kind of you know going on this caravan and seeing all the fans kind of taking pictures constantly, and just being kind of like that face that, that maybe people are have been expecting for a while? Yeah. Well, I—I I think the thing is, after the season's done, you go those four months without you know, really any baseball, and you just kind of focus on the offseason, and uh, to see the energy coming back and feel kind of that refreshing, uh, just life from everyone is, uh, is really cool, and I think it makes everyone excited to get going that much more.